Hi, I'm Joe McDonald, and I'm here at Hoot Hollow, which is our home, and I'm going to be photographing hepatica flowers, which are probably the first woodland wildflower that comes out every spring. The conditions today aren't especially favorable. It's, the flowers are out in full bloom because it's a nice sunny day, but that also creates, with the sun, thermals that generate a breeze and also a contrasty lighting condition where there's harsh shadows and where the uh, reflective nature of the flowers themselves kind of like makes it lose some of the color. But there's an easy solution to that. You can see over to the side here I have a diffuser. I think this one's made by uh, Rogue which makes some wonderful diffuser products both for flash and also for natural light. And I'm using a uh, Really Right Stuff ground pod with a BH25 head on it, which is a very, very small head. And finally, to show you everything I'm using, I have, in this case, just a, uh, a spare plate I had for a long lens. This one was made by Wimberley, but some of the plates that I use like this uh, are focusing rails that Really Right Stuff makes. And uh, with that then, if I need to fine tune, I can slide that focusing rail, or in this case, a spare old uh, uh, lens plate. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the difference when you, we put a diffuser over everything here. And you can see how I've lost my shadows, and I think the color is far better. What I wanna show you now is a really handy accessory for supporting either a plant or in this case diffusers. So what I'm going to use to support the diffuser is something called a Wimberley clamp stake and it has a screwdriver that you pull out of the handy receptacle. It has an articulating arm with a clampish thing on the end called a clamp that you could support a plant if you wish, but in this case, I'm gonna be using it for the diffuser. And then you just would stick it in the ground and I have my one support. And I'll use three or four of these to be supporting the diffuser. Well, I'm moving about and putting the plant stakes into the position where I think it will support the diffuser. And I'll do this one at a time. Might have to make some adjustments, but when I'm done, I'll, uh, I'll have my diffuser where I want it to be shading the hepatica flowers and probably blocking some of the wind as well. And here's the, uh, the, the clamp once again. Here's the screwdriver that's normally it's stored inside here. Pop that bugger out. Insert it and you now have your stake and then the other end is the plant with the articulating arm. And this part here is the, uh, the plant aspect of it that can open or close. And it has a little foam thing and uh, a kind of a, what would you say, like a, a bevel so that a, a plant doesn't get crushed if it's in that stem. And this is really, really handy if you're uh, photographing uh, plants that might be swaying in a breeze and you're doing macro work, you could have one or two of these mounted uh, on the stem and it really makes it very, very secure. So it, it's a great little attachment. So I've got to be careful where I'm uh, kneeling here because I have hepatica flowers everywhere. But I'm using the Olympus uh, a Mark II camera in this case with a 60 millimeter macro lens uh, that could have used the 12 to 100, or I could have been closer with the uh, 30 millimeter macro. I'm not doing macro right now, so uh, almost any number of lenses would work. But I'm also using this Really Right Stuff ground pod. So it's a nice, convenient uh, tripod, very, very lightweight, easy to move around. I have legs here that I can extend different sizes. So that's the setup there. But let me also stress, that I'm, uh, I'm contorting myself all over the place here so that I'm not crushing other flowers. I remember uh, we once had, we led a workshop for a uh, environmental center. We took people to a, a pink lady slipper 
uh, field and there were people who like laid down for ground level shots and just with their feet knocked over other plants and we came over and saw it and you know we told them please be careful about this but I learned my lesson I, I've never took anyone back to anything like that and the shots not the important thing the environments the important thing here and uh, you got to be considerate about that and I was so disappointed with these nature photographers who were so callous about what they were photographing.